to be together on the Lord's Day, Yah's Day, for the Zoom service of Abundant Life International. Amen. And we thank God that the family is here together. And we pray that you, uh, God would really bless all of us, our listeners and viewers at this time in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today's uh, theme is help. Amen. Shout help. Help. Amen. Help. Amen. And the key verses are from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verses 14 to 15. And we praise God that uh, we enjoyed last Sunday as well. And the theme was humane employment. Humane. Because to do with uh, it being compassionate. Amen being benevolent and reaching out and hiring and employing people amen so that people would receive uh, the basic uh, human welfare amen in their employment praise the lord and um, i would like to read right now from first thessalonians chapter 5 Verses 14 and 15, once again. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn those who are unruly, comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, be patient with all. See that no one renders evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good, both for yourself and for all. Amen. It's so wonderful that we can uh, truly thank the Lord that uh, God himself is our helper. Amen. Now, when we look at help from the H9 uh, vision of Abundant Life Ministries, um, I just wrote a, a definition and... Um, it says every born again Christian is equipped by having the person of the Holy Spirit as the helper within in order to produce and extend all kinds of mercy ministries and helps towards the faithful first and then to the world at large with much grace hallelujah and i think um, it says it all the definition of uh, help is make it easier or possible for someone to do something by offering them one's services or resources or it could be serve someone with food or drink amen or the action of helping someone to do something used as an appeal for urgent assistance shall we pray our heavenly father we truly want to thank you once again as we gather together on the lord's day that you would truly yes. touch us yes, Lord. in a very special way. Mm -hmm. Just energize mm -hmm. our regenerated spirits. Empower us mm -hmm. and renew our minds. Mm -hmm. Lord, heal every emotion. Mm -hmm. And we pray for a surrendered free will mm -hmm. to you that we would catch the vision and run to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Run to help one another yes, and run to help all those in the outside world so that they would see the kindness of our God, Amen. the love in action. Amen. Amen. And we pray that, Lord, we would run to help evil people physically 
Amen. And even financially, maybe, if it's in the ability to do so. Lord God, we pray you are the source, makers, wonderful resources Amen. of help to people around us. There are so many needy ones. It's, the need is so overwhelming, but your grace is sufficient. Yes, Not only for to meet our needs, to meet the needs of our family, to meet the needs of your church, but also to meet the needs of those around us, maybe even our enemies. Lord, bless this time. Give us pierced ears, listening hearts, and a will that is ready to do your will. Bless this time, we pray, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And God's people shout, amen. amen and amen. That's the truth. Hallelujah. So when we look at this verse from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verses 14 and 15, it says, Now we exhort you, brethren. Apostle Paul is writing the strong letter to the Thessalonians, especially when it is the end time message before the rapture. And he's strongly, what is exhort? Are we exhort you? To exhort means to strongly encourage. Amen. To strongly encourage or urge someone to do something. Hallelujah. So this morning, I am exhorting you. I'm strongly encouraging you and urging you as a church to do something, as an individual, as a family, to do something. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, it says, warn those who are unruly. Those who were unruly were those who were breaking the ranks, those who were not committed to the local church, amen, and those who do their own thing. That is very important, amen, to be committed, to be loyal to Christ and the local church, amen, which is an example and an expression of the universal body of Christ. Amen. We need to be um, comforted. So comfort the faint hearted. Amen. We said it right from the beginning of this pandemic. What fear not, faint not, hallelujah, and fret not. Praise be to God. The word of God can comfort us. The Holy Spirit, the Comforter, will comfort us so that we will not be faint-hearted even during this trying time of being confined to the home. Uphold the weak, those especially who are spiritually weak, amen, those who neglect the cross of Jesus Christ, those who do not carry their own cross, it is important, it is an exhortation to uphold the weak. Amen. When you talk in terms of help, it is not only helping spiritually, but helping emotionally, helping a person mentally, helping a person to surrender their will to God and to do God's will. It is helping a person physically, maybe helping a person materially and helping a person financially. Amen. Hallelujah. And we can all help as a church socially. Amen. 
and with sync. Amen. Corporately. Glory be to God. Be patient with all. This is the time to be patient with your spouse, with your siblings, with your family. Be patient. Amen. Amen. Be patient with whatever you are believing God for. Whatever you have faith for. Whatever you have hope for. Remember, be patient. With faith and with patience, you will surely inherit your promise. See that no one renders evil for evil to anyone. Vengeance is not our language. Vengeance is not in our lives, amen, or in our hearts or in our minds. We need to forgive and release. Amen. Praise the Lord, amen. In fact, we need to overcome evil with good. That's wonderful. Run the extra mile, but always pursue what is good, both for yourselves and for all, even your enemies. Amen. Amen. Now, the word helper. Helper means one who assists another. When we look at um, the helper, the helper is used in six different ways mentioned in the Bible. Number one, God himself, our Father, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is the first source and channel of help. Amen. Praise be to God. Let's read Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 6. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Amen. Hallelujah. What can man do to me? We can boldly say, Amen. Amen. Come on, together let us say, The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my helper. helper. Come on, say it. The, the Lord, Lord is my helper. helper. Now, let's change the Lord to Yahweh, the name of God the Father. Say, Yahweh is my helper. Come on, say it again. Yahweh is my helper. And if Yahweh is my helper, I will not fear. Praise the Lord. So, when Yahweh is my helper, I will not fear. Glory be to God. So God is removing all kinds of fears in your life, in our lives, and reminding us that He is your helper. Amen. Daddy God, Abba Father, is my helper Amen. and your helper, Christian. Amen. The second one, Christ is my helper. Yahushua, the Son of God, is my helper. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in, in time of need. Amen. When Christ is our helper, there is no need. Amen. Hallelujah. He's able to help you with every need. You, Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it heartening? Isn't it reassuring? 
So when we look at the Son of God, Yahushua, or his name, Jesus, we know he is the high priest. Amen. Amen. Who has gone before us. He has gone through the tabernacle, not carrying the blood of animals and birds. No way. He has made the atonement with his very own blood. Amen. He's made us one with the Father through his very own blood shed on the cross of Calvary. The blood of Jesus not only cleanses us from all sin, does not just cover our sins, but cleanses us from all sin. Hallelujah. It's so redeeming. Hallelujah. It's so, uh, it's so uh, releasing, a feeling of release, great release. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And he has even brought healing through his blood. So he's the one who can really empathize with us and uh, um, reach out to all our weaknesses. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, he's not just God up there who understands because he's the omniscient one, the all-knowing God. He knows our pain, he knows our sufferings, but he chose to humble himself and come down to earth, becoming man, leaving his godly glory in heaven. Hallelujah. Taking all the limitations of man, and suffered and was tempted like any one of us so he can empathize with you mm -hmm. he can identify with you totally as man yes as man mm -hmm. and he was one without any sin that is why he could become a perfect sacrifice mm -hmm. and he not only empathizes with us he gives us every solution and help that we need he overcame every temptation he overcame the temptation of the devil by using the word of god amen he overcame different circumstances he overcame this world. Hallelujah. And because he overcame the world, we can overcome the spirit of this world. Amen. Because the overcomer is inside of us. We can overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Praise be to God. He overcame the temptation of the flesh hallelujah but he knew no sin sin was imputed upon Jesus praise be to God so he goes before us as the high priest bringing salvation and we can go into the holy of holies amen yet without sin let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Amen. So when Christ is my helper, there is no need. He will meet every need according to his riches in glory Amen. in Christ Jesus. Praise be to God. Number three, the Holy Spirit is my helper. The third person of the triune Godhead. Amen. The Ruach HaKodesh in, in Hebrew. Romans chapter 8 and verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, 
but the Spirit Himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Amen. When the Holy Spirit helps me, there is no weakness. Hallelujah. Come on, confess this. When the Holy Spirit helps me, there is no weakness in me. Hallelujah. He completes me in Christ. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. Praise be to God. When we are weak, we are made strong in Christ Jesus you, by the anointing and power you, of the Lord. Holy Thank Spirit. You, For we do not know what we should pray. For as we ought, but the Spirit, Spirit himself makes intercession for us. Hallelujah. First of all, Jesus, the high priest, the great intercessor, is right now making intercession for you at the right hand of the Father. Amen. He's pleading for you, you for you Thank to you make Lord. it to the Thank very you. end in faithfulness Hallelujah. and loyalty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In commitment. Praise the Lord in love, in servitude. Praise the Lord. And the Holy Spirit is interceding through you. Amen. The Holy Spirit knows exactly the mind of Christ and gives you what to pray for. And this intercession is equipped higher than higher tech. The high touch of God that enables us to speak in a heavenly tongue. Hallelujah, Amen. which the devil himself and all his demons cannot understand. This tongue will edify your spirit man or spirit woman. Amen. Hallelujah. This edification is in the building up of your most holy faith, Jude 20. So pray in tongues sing in tongues, worship in tongues, hallelujah, speak in tongues, hallelujah, amen. When it's done unto the Lord, it does not need interpretation. God understands fully. You may not understand the tongue, amen, the groanings and moanings of the Holy Spirit and the burden he puts upon you to lift it up to the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, and Father God, praise be to God. He's the one who gives you this language. Amen. And when this language is for the congregation in the assembly, then it needs interpretation. Amen. So don't have a wrong concept and a, and a false teaching about tongues. Amen. Get this thing very right and don't miss out on the grace and blessings of the Holy Spirit Amen. upon our lives. Amen. So he will do it through us which cannot be uttered. But praise be to God, the Holy Spirit helps me and therefore all my weaknesses are taken away. Hallelujah. Amen. I can do all things through Christ, through the anointed one and his anointing. He's the one who strengthens me. Praise be to God. So make it a holy habit Thank you, Jesus. to pray in tongues, to speak in tongues, sing in tongues, worship in tongues. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and you will be empowered. Heaven will come into your heart. That's the connectivity. The fourth channel of help comes from the angels. Hallelujah, the holy angels of God. Praise be to God. 
these are ministering angels, serving angels, hallelujah, hallelujah, and warring angels, Amen. hallelujah. The serving angels and uh, the ministering angels are under angel, archangel Gabriel, and the warring angels are under Archangel Michael, praise be to God. Hallelujah. So Daniel chapter 10 and verse 13. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days. Oh. And behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. Help me. For Hallelujah. I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. Amen. When the angels helpers, amen, serving us, ministering unto us, even Jesus in Gethsemane was ministered by the angel. Amen. Hallelujah. When he was going through that hour of trial in Gethsemane, where his sweat uh, and perspiration turned into drops of blood. His blood vessels almost burst. Hallelujah. What suffering, what suffering for us. Amen. And the angel helped him, ministered unto him, served him. Hallelujah. The angels, your guardian angel, will not only serve you, but fight for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you aware of that? If only your naked eye would be open to see spiritual things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once I, I saw a, a vision for when I came back from Nigeria, it was a vision from 12 in the night till 6 in the morning. Can you beat it? Six hours. And the Lord took me in a spaceship like Star Wars. And the Lord Jesus was standing by my side in full white. And we were, we took off from India and we moved and he was showing me the nations of the world in the second heavens where principalities and powers of darkness were there all wicked rulers and the moment i would see them it was so horrendous horrifying faces even chinese demons and all of them it was so terrible, but whenever these principalities were revealed and shown to me at that time, I would suddenly be shown the cross of Jesus and the blood shed and his suffering. And the Lord would tell me, I have defeated this principality. Yeah. I have defeated this principality. Yeah. And it was going on and on and on. We did the whole globe all around in the second heavens where principalities and powers of darkness are ruling. And I just returned from Nigeria, from Lagos, um, from a all Africa spiritual warfare conference and there were 2,000 delegates from all the nations of Africa and by God's grace I was the only representative of Asia and I connected with that altar and we were doing severe uh, spiritual warfare and there it was so bad that when they would do the night fasting and prayer, witches that were flying on broomsticks would fall down. And after the night prayer, 
when walking through the streets, we would see them falling on the ground. Those very witches were doing witchcraft from 12 noon to 3 in the morning. Mind you, these things are real, beloved. I want to tell you what Daniel saw in the heavenlies, the second heavens, because the prince of Persia was ruling and therefore Persia was ruling on earth. And then Grecia comes in the prince of Grecia and then Greece takes over. So it is important to know the spiritual warfare that is going on in the second heavens. The third heavens is where the throne room of God is and the holy angels of God are. The first heavens is where we see our whole atmosphere and all things around in the skies. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you these things are real and Daniel fasted for 21 days. When you are fasting these 40 days, we want to break out. Amen. Amen. We want to break out. Praise be to God. And to continue with this vision, longest vision I've ever had in my spiritual life. And, and we reached, we went all around the globe and we reached Nepal. And we were doing a lot of warfare for Nepal. And that time the regime was changing. And uh, I've told you in the past many testimonies of how at that time the king's nephew he invited us for uh, breakfast just to be prayed over and the whole family was baptized in the Holy Spirit. Many of our elders are ex-Maoist, amen, people who are murderers. Now they are serving the amen. Lord. Thank Isn't it Jesus. wonderful? Glory be to God. So in the final part of that vision, we reached Nepal. And guess what? In my dream, in my in my semi-state of lying down in bed all those hours, I said, wow, Nepal for Jesus. And the, my landline started ringing. It was sharp six in the morning. It was a call from our missionary leader, Birendra, Pastor Birendra, hallelujah, Kisku from Nepal. He called me at six in the morning and I picked up the phone almost in a semi-trance, but when I picked it up, I heard his voice and I jumped with great joy. Something had been accomplished. Amen. Amen. This was in 2003. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. God will use you for Amen. his glory. Thank you, Lord. Don't worry. You may see an angel by your side. Amen. One of our sisters has seen an angel during this lockdown in a home. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So Archangel Michael helped Daniel. Amen. Angels will come to your rescue. Amen. Amen. When we are worshiping God in Gemini Theater, if only you could see the spirit realm. And from time to time, we get different people seeing visions, amen, dreams, but also at the time of worship, at the time of the word, at the time of breaking of bread. Amen. We sing angels around. Hallelujah. Yaakov's ladder, ascending angels Amen. and descending angels. I want to challenge you this morning. As two or three of you gather together in his name, in Yahushua's name, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. he is there in your midst and your home can be better. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The house of God. Let your home be the house of God besides, besides your body being the temple of the Holy Spirit of ascending and descending angels in your home. You read what I put in the newsletter. 
what the devil told the pastor by the lockdown I succeeded in shutting down the churches the pastor laughed at him and said no 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 in fact through the lockdown churches have opened in homes in every home Amen. glory be to God so the presence of God is with you the presence of God is going to come down heaven is going to come down in your hearts Amen. and in your homes Amen. receive it as a prophetic word in Jesus name amen amen hallelujah so no defeat amen. he's there to protect you all the angels and to serve you and to fight for you amen. it is God who commands them enjoy the servitude of the angels amen, amen. and the guarding and protection of the angels amen. fifthly the woman was made for man yeah. Genesis chapter 2 and verses 18 and 20 and the Lord God said it is not good that man should be alone I will make him a helper comparable to him out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the air yes. and brought them to Adam to see what he could call them and uh, and whatever adam called every living creature that was its name Amen. so adam gave <laughs> names to all cattle to the birds of the air and to every beast of the field but for adam there was not found a helper comparable to him amen amen praise the lord god says man should not be alone but have a helper, have a helpmate. Amen. Yes. And that's what God has given me, a helpmate. Praise the Lord. Wonderful. God is good. And God has given you a helpmate. And if you do not have a helpmate, you have the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have the Father. You have the Son. Amen. You have the angels Amen. to help you. Amen. Amen. God is good. God is good. So, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Amen. Amen. Not just compatible, but comparable. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The man has a human by his side. Amen. Matching him. Hallelujah. Complimenting him. And in Christ, completing him. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So man is not alone. He can have a woman. Amen. Within the bonds of the marriage covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. That's wonderful. So the woman helps. We, we looked at Proverbs 31, 10 uh, onwards and we saw the wonderful uh, way in which the wife or the virtuous woman helps the family. Amen. The mother. And sixthly, it's Christians who help. Amen. Acts chapter 16, verse 9. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. Visions and dreams are the language of the Holy Spirit. So we see Paul seeing a vision. And in this vision, in the night, he saw a man of Macedonia stood who stood and pleaded with him saying come over to Macedonia and help us amen it's like one church asking for help from another and we need to respond like how you respond with not only your tithes and offerings and first fruits 
in your generous giving, in your donations for the social action, in all your grace giving according to the new covenant, hallelujah, wholeheartedly, cheerfully, amen, generously, praise the Lord. And surely whatever you sow in the kingdom and in the house of the Lord will uh, reap you eternal dividends and it will turn into a weapon to come against the devourer, hallelujah, that uh, comes with the spirit of poverty. And we've heard so many testimonies of those during the lockdown who have given sacrificially and selflessly in spite of not getting their full salaries, half salary, quarter salary, and yet they have tithed. That's the spirit of Christ. Amen. And they've come forward and helped, not just looked at their own specific needs and even in kind and grains, but God is a good God. He will bless you and they Amen. have testified that their little salary also has stretched through and they have paid bills. Amen. Amen. Even yesterday I was talking, we were talking to uh, uh, Pastor Owen and Pastor Manisha and how God has taken care of their needs as Amen. well in a difficult time. You, Amen. Praise be to God. God bless you abundantly. Amen. And all that you give, we are helping churches all over India. Amen. Hallelujah. Because of your sacrificial selfless giving. Amen. So it's Christians that help one another, that we are able to help people in need, even in our midst. Hallelujah. They may ask, they may not ask, but as we are sensitive, we can reach out to them. God bless Amen. each one. There would not be any needy person Amen. by the grace of God in Jesus name as you respond favorably. Thank you, church. You are a wonderful people. Amen. Amen. Bless you abundantly. May your lives overflow with his provision Amen. and his protection Amen. in the name of Yahushua. Amen. So it's a big family. Amen. And we are not forsaken. Amen. Amen. No place is God forsaken. God can reach out and he will reach out through Christians, yeah. through the church. He can even use unbelievers yeah. for the wealth of the wicked will come to the righteous. Amen. So it's a, yeah. uh, not only a local but a worldwide vision. It's a big family and not only a big family that we are. We are an eternal family. Amen. Praise be to God. So we come to the second section and that is the helper as the Holy Spirit, okay? So, we'll talk about six functions of the Holy Spirit, amen, here. Yeah. John chapter 14 and verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. Amen. This verse is uh, so... Uh, much misinterpreted by uh, by people who want to mar the gospel to their own ends. And Yod says, and I will pray the Father. Jesus, Yahushua was saying, I will pray the Father and he will give you another helper. <clears throat> A paracletos, one just like the original, just like him. Amen. Another helper. And some of the Muslims interpret this saying that it is here. Jesus is talking about the next prophet to come. And that is Muhammad. Wrong. It's a lie. It's twisting the scripture. Amen. And that's a sin against the Lord. Certainly. It's an evil thought. Father. Amen will answer the prayer of Jesus and giving them the third person of the triune Godhead. The helper is the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Ruach HaKodesh. 
he will give you another helper that is the Holy Spirit that he may abide in you forever the Holy Spirit once he comes inside of you and seals you to the day of redemption he he has committed himself to abide in you forever isn't it wonderful so we are fully assured of our salvation and we need to work out our salvation maintaining that salvation by abiding in him hallelujah in Christ amen praise be to God amen. so the first area of the helper the Holy Spirit is that he abides with all believers in Christ Jesus amen number two he teaches he not only abides in the hearts of believers and the lives of believers but he teaches John 14 26 but the helper the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you amen that's the Holy Spirit he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you remember what first John talks about the anointing chapter 2 the anointing in you is what will teach you Amen. hallelujah it is the anointing in you who will teach you Amen. he was talking about false teachers and the anointing will teach you the truth and the truth will set you free Amen. from all the bindings Amen. and and the lying spirits amen so praise be to God so here we see that when even when I am teaching you it's the anointing within me that is teaching you and the anointing within you will be will bring to remembrance all that you already know and all that you are freshly reminded of and some things you did not even know hallelujah so the Holy Spirit is the teacher and he's teaching you well all these six points are from the Gospel of John so the first one was John 14 16 and now it was 14 26 and um, let us look at the third area the Holy Spirit testifies of Christ and this is John chapter 15 and verse 26 but when the helper comes whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. So when the helper comes, amen, not Muhammad, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth and not the Spirit of life, amen, amen who proceeds from the Father in heaven, Hallelujah. Not from Allah, but from Allah is a moon God. Amen. Small g. But the Father is Yahweh. Amen. Amen. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah. The God of Israel. The God of all true Christians. Amen. Amen. In his son, Jesus. Amen. And through his son. Hallelujah. And proceeds from the Father he will testify of me the Holy Spirit never talks about himself he talks always about the Holy Spirit and he will woo you to know about the lovely name of Jesus and to glorify the Father in heaven the Holy Spirit is very selfless amen He's here for you. Amen. So befriend him. Be aware of his presence. Talk to him. Hallelujah. Grow in him. Know him. Amen. As Apostle Paul, towards the end of his life, he says that I may know him. Hallelujah. I may know the Holy Spirit. I may know Christ. I may know the Father. Amen. Fourth area, the Holy Spirit convicts. 
John again, chapter 16 this time, verses 7 to 11. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they do not believe in me of righteousness because I go to my father and you will see me no more of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. So the Holy Spirit convicts us, you and I and everyone of sin, righteousness and judgment. Why sin? Why sin? Because they do not believe in Christ. Yeah. Of righteousness because Jesus goes to the Father and righteousness is in him alone. Yeah. And you see him no more, but his righteousness is imputed upon you. And of judgment because the ruler of this world, the devil himself, is already judged. Yeah. Praise be to God. Number five, the Holy Spirit guides into truth. So here we see John chapter 16 again, but verse 13. However, when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. Amen. The spirit of truth has come. Hallelujah. He's already come. Jesus said when he comes, but now he's already come from the day of Pentecost, the feast of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2. He will guide you into all truth, not partially, but all truth. Uh, for he, who is truth? Jesus. Amen. He's, he's revealing Jesus to you. For he will not speak on his own authority. Amen. Jesus is not here in flesh and blood, but the Holy Spirit is here with us. Amen. And he will reveal the person of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Adonai, Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit alone, himself, using the word of God, will reveal the living person Amen. of Jesus. He will not speak of his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. Amen. The Holy Spirit hears the Father, hears the Son. So better hear the Holy Spirit and he will speak to you. He wants to speak to you. Do more of listening rather than talking. Yak, 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 yak. Amen. Two ears, one mouth. Amen. Listen twice as much as you speak. Even if you are a counselor, you need to listen more than you talk. And he will tell you things to come. The book of Revelation. And he will reveal the future, not on your palm, not on some tarot cards. No way, not in some palmistry and all kinds of crystal balls. No way, but he will speak to you and reveal the truth through his word. Yeah. And number six, the Holy Spirit glorifies Christ. John 16 again, verses 14 and 15. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things Hallelujah. that the Father has are mine. Amen. Therefore I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. Amen, amen. So whatever is the Father's belongs to Jesus. And the Holy Spirit will take whatever Jesus and he will, what? Declare, Declare it to you. 
Amen. He will take of mine and declare it to you. Glory be to God. So, now coming to the area of help. So, just a recap of that. The Holy Spirit abides with believers. Secondly, he teaches. He testifies of Christ. Fourthly, he convicts us. Fifthly, he guides into all truth. And sixthly, he glorifies Christ. Now, in the ministry of helps, it is the acts of bearing another's burden. When we carry one another's burdens, they have. Hallelujah. But when we, when we, uh, when we share those burdens, they are harmed. But when we share the blessings, they are doubled. Isn't it wonderful? So let's stick to that principle. Amen. Pray for one another. All the needy ones lift up their burdens that they would truly be empowered Amen. and they would get their breakthroughs. We all want our breakthroughs coming and our breakout for the glory of God. The Spirit of God coming out of us and revealing Christ to the world. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Amen. Amen. So there are three areas here. Firstly, um, a, a gift is given to the church of the called the ministry of helps. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 28. And God has appointed these in the church, first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, administrations, varieties of tongues. Hallelujah. It says one of the gifts is helps. helps. Praise be to God. Amen and amen. So, ministry of helps. If someone says, I don't know what to do in the church, Pastor. Uh, could you tell me what to do? I would say ministry of helps besides the ministry of intercession and uh, evangelizing people. Ministry of helps need to come early. Help set up for a Sunday morning. Ministry of helps be available during the week. Maybe if you are available to help. Amen. And it would be such a blessing. And it's in giving of your time, energy, talents, skills, uh, giftings uh, that you get so blessed and you enjoy them. That wonderful peace, shalom and blessing. Amen. Amen. Secondly, Christians are admonished to help. First Thessalonians 5, 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn those who are unruly, comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, and be patient with all. Now this is a repeated verse what we began with. And as we exhort, advise or urge earnestly, amen, sometimes warn someone of something to be avoided. Praise the Lord. But here it's talking about helping one another as Christians. Amen. And then in the final one, Acts 20 verses uh, 28 to 35. It's a long passage. We are not going to read that, but it's, uh, it, uh, you know, elders uh, admonished uh, to reach out and help. Praise the Lord. So it's not only the Christians, one for an with another, but it's the leadership itself, the elders reaching out to help. Hallelujah. So now in closing, this whole area of help, we help people spiritually, we help people mentally, we help people even emotionally and volitionally to be surrendered to God and surrender to Christ and receive Christ. And we help people even physically maybe or financially, socially, praise be to God or materially. But in all these helps, we must know the source of all help is God himself. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus. And the holy angels are given to all of us as Christians to help us. And even to the unbelievers. Amen. 
Hallelujah. We must turn them to Christ that they would know the truth and the truth would set them free. When we go to hell, it's not just sympathizing with someone, just not feeling pity and being compassionate, but empathizing with a person. Amen. Really feeling what they feel, putting yourself in that person's shoes, coming alongside of them and lifting them up. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Amen. I'll ask Bella to pray for us. Lord, we thank you for this message. We thank you, Lord, that even as the theme was help and we saw how uh, we have received help from God, from Christ, from Holy Spirit, from the angels Amen. and help meet in the woman yes. and the Christians. Yes. Lord, we thank you that you have provided all helps, Lord. Oh, and most of Lord, all, Lord, Lord, we want to thank you for the help of the Holy Spirit Amen. that abides with Welcome the believers, Holy Lord. Spirit. And the Holy Spirit that teaches us, Lord, yes. testifies of Christ, Lord, Amen. who convicts us, Lord, of our sins, Lord, Amen. of righteousness and judgment, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, yes. the Holy Spirit that guides us into truth, O oh God, who glorifies Christ, Lord. Holy Spirit helps, Lord, in, uh, uh, in taking our burdens, Lord, and another's burdens, O oh God. We Hallelujah. thank you, Lord. For a gift to the church that we have received Amen. of helps, Lord, for all those who help us, O oh God, to make our life easy, Lord, and productive, Amen. Lord. Yes, Thank Lord. you, Lord, in the Thank past, you, Lord, those who come early, Lord, and help, Lord, in the church, O oh God. We want to thank you for them, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the help that we receive in the office, Lord. Amen. And in administration, Lord. Thank you, Father. And help, Lord, all around, oh God. We thank you for the pastors that are helping us, Lord, in the ministry, Lord. Their families, oh God. And even to come on Zoom, Lord, all yes. the help that we are receiving, oh God. Yes. We pray that you would reward each one, oh God. We thank, thank you, Father. You, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name, O oh God. We pray at this time, Lord, that you would make us a blessing, Lord. That we would help those in need, Lord. We would fill us with compassion, Lord, with burdens, O oh God. So that, Lord, we can go out and minister your love yes, to others, Lord. Lord. Evangelize to others, Lord. Hallelujah. Help the poor Bless and the you. needy, O oh yes, God, that Father come God. our way every yes, day, O oh God, Lord, that we would not overlook them, O oh God. We yes. will be able to feed them, Lord, clothe them, Lord, give them shelter, Lord, yes, whatever Lord. is within our so means, O oh God. So and lift it. people up, Lord, from the dungeon, O oh God. Lift people up, O oh God, and give Jesus. them the right standing with Shut you. Lord. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us, Jesus, for helping us, Lord, for lifting us up, Lord, yes, Lord. and making us to sit with you in the heavenly place, Amen. oh God. Amen. We thank you, Father, for our congregation, Lord. Yes, thank you for our families, oh God. Bless, bless them abundantly, the Lord. Bless all the soul sowing, Lord. Bless all who give generously, Lord, and sacrificially, Lord, for your work in your kingdom, Lord. Bless them, O oh God. And we pray that keep everyone in good health. We come against every spirit of sickness, disease, and every hold of the evil yes, one Lord. over the minds of people, Hallelujah. over the bodies of people. We pray that each one would be healthy and strong for yes, your glory. Lord. And we thank you, Lord, thank for you, this Jesus. time. Thank you, Father. In Yeshua's you, name Spirit. we pray. Amen. Church, in conclusion, I want to say we must give people the fish and train them how to fish. Amen. Help them by giving them the fish yes. and then training them how to catch the fish. Amen. God bless you. Amen.